diabetes and I blog about it at bittersweetdiabetes.com and I'm an active member of the diabetes online community. I wanted to show you my drawer of diabetes supplies. I keep it all here in the bedroom so it's all together when I need it and I have the dresser to spread it all out on when I need to do sight changes for my insulin pump or my continuous glucose monitor. It's kind of crammed in here and I'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing what tips Stacia has for me on how to better organize it and work better with it. Hi, I'm Stacia Woodcock, a Walgreens pharmacist, and I'm here today with Karen to take a look at her medicine cabinet and diabetic supply drawer. She's incredibly organized, but I think that there are a couple tips we can give her not only to keep herself healthier, but to save her some money. So Karen, I took a look at your medicine cabinet and your medicine drawer upstairs, and the first thing I wanna do is compliment you. You're so organized, everything's in date, you have everything that you need, set up really nicely, so congratulations on that. Thank you. That being said, I have a couple of tips for you. The first, I noticed in your medicine cabinet, you have your contact solutions mm -hmm. with the caps open. Not a good idea. Having diabetes, you're more susceptible to infection than someone without diabetes, right? Mm -hmm. right? What happens when you leave the caps like this open is that the bacteria in the air can actually collect on the tip. So when you squirt the, the solution from the vial, you're squirting that bacteria into your eye and onto your contacts. Oh. So they make a cap. We need to use it and okay. shut those lids, right? Okay. And if you notice, this one has developed some residue on it. Sometimes they'll do that. All you have to do is wipe the tip with an alcohol swab to keep it clean and avoid getting that particle in your eye. All right, that's an easy fix you can make. Thank you, I will. <laughs> so the other thing I noticed in your diabetes drawer, diabetes mm -hmm. supplies are so expensive, and they I are. understand that. So what I have before me here is a wide variety of the Walgreens health and wellness products. They're Walgreens brand. And you may not be aware that the Walgreens brand is just as effective and significantly less expensive than the brand name diabetes supplies you might be using. Oh, good. Not only that, they're 100% guaranteed. So it's something that you can trust to take care of your disease state effectively and save you money, which is important. The other thing that I wanted to point out, um, on top of all the supplies that you normally use, is we have a special um, blood sugar monitor called the true to go system. It's teeny tiny, and it attaches to a, the top of a strip of vials mm. of testing strips. Um, so that you can take it with you instead of, you know, I, you, I know you have a lovely kit for your machine that we saw upstairs, but they can get cumbersome. It's this is tiny. It's like the size of a vial of medicine. You can put it in your pocket, you can throw it in your bag when you're going on a trip somewhere, and it's really portable and easy to use. That's great. So hopefully we can implement all of these into your medicine drawer and medicine cabinet and make sure that you, you know, have safe supplies to use and save you some money. Terrific. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm very thankful to have gotten this opportunity to participate and talk to Stacia. She gave me some great tips on how I can save some money without sacrificing quality. I also had no idea about the bacteria in the contact lens solutions. I'll definitely be closing the lids from now on and keep my eyes safe. It's also great to know that if I'm not feeling well and I'm not sure what I can take, instead of needing to wait hours perhaps for my endocrinologist to call me back, I can go to my local Walgreens just five minutes away and talk to a pharmacist there. <laughs>